Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my deck profiles. It's been kind of difficult to make a deck that actually functions in this meta, especially with the loose of Hattie V meta, but I believe I have finally made a Hecarim aggro list that isn't complete trash. So far it's had a good matchup versus Dawn Spiders and it's an elusive deck as you kind of just rush them down and they die first. The Freljord, uh, the Freljord Ionia one where they just buff up all the elusives and they attack your face but Hecarim's a little too fast for them. Turn 6 it turns out he's pretty good. The deck itself, it took me a very long time to make it. So I went with an Ionia shell instead of the usual Demacia shell that you'd run with the Remembrance or whatever. I haven't really gotten that version to work. I kind of find it a little too RNG reliant and I like playing things that are consistent. I don't like playing things that are inconsistent because it makes you feel bad. Of course there's the Showstopper of course in the deck. There's Hecarim. Hecarim is one of the stars of the deck he's the reason you're playing this deck he ends so many games just by himself playing a hecarim on six on the attack usually ends the game depending on how controlly your opponent is but most of the time it ends up killing your opponent his six health is very difficult for a lot of decks to you know to deal with he's got a big fat ass and of course we're running zed as more of a support ish unit i'd be running three zed right now but the issue is i don't have enough champion wild cards and i'm saving them up for other decks so i'm completely fine with just running two zeds right now i think the third one will just kind of be a little just helps consistency just a small little percentage off your win rate then we're running stuff then we're running an elusive package with shadow assassin because i realized the deck needed more draw and i needed ways to deal with my opponent's elusive units and that was it turns out the only way to deal with opponent's elusive creatures are your own elusive creatures you know can't beat them join them we run stuff like Triple Deny. That's one of the main reasons we are playing Ionia is for the Triple Deny. It helps in a lot of situations that you normally wouldn't think of. Like, this is a very, very good aggro tool, and it's one of the reasons why the Elusive deck is so strong is because of the ability of dodging board clears like Ruination and such. If if it was not for Deny, the Freljord Ionia deck would be a lot more susceptible to stuff like the Rasa control deck, which right now isn't doing very hot against it because of the fact that they have triple deny if they didn't have triple deny it'd be a completely different story other cards of note soul shepherd soul shepherd has been doing really well with how many ephemerals you spawn it gives you a lot of value i wasn't very assured of the card at first so i did not i was not running three but as i played with her more and more she turned out she was pretty good especially with the haunted relic combo where you'd play her and then haunted relic and you have like three two twos it's pretty good uh other cards of note shark chariot shark chariot oh my i thought this thing was trash it is not shark chariot is amazing the memes you can just like just full board every time make hecarim full board and a zed full board it's insane i was trying earlier a different archetype i was trying more of a clone shark variant where you like clone sharks so that whenever you play like an, an ephemeral unit you have a full board of sharks the issue is it's too slow for the elusive stuff so it does not work right now until they do something about elusive which i'm predicting later on they're going to do something on elusive it's way too strong right now to see more play but we'll, we'll have to see we haven't seen like all the decks yet because people are still you know using their wild card so like the meta changes daily so we'll see if something actually counters elusive or not uh other cards of note green glade duo green glade duo makes this deck shine this is the reason why we kill our opponent a lot it's just like like the since with the sharks the haunted relics all the stuff you're summoning like it makes green glade duo amazing also it blocks your opponent's elusive units which turns out is very useful right now amazing right other cards of note a uh, sparring student sparring student is a lot better than i once gave it credit for it is quite essentially another copy of Green Glade Duo with the added benefit of it not being able to be killed easily if you simply summon something, which was an issue that Green Glade Duo has. Is like you buff up your Green Glade Duo and then they'll just uh, let's use that two mana card. What is it called? Uh, 
Vile Feast, they'll just Vile Feast your Green Glade duo down and you feel bad about yourself, but the student has a little bit more wiggle room with that because if you summon something first before they try to Vile Feast it, he does completely fine. But he does not have Elusive, so he's not as strong, but you're still running a three of them because he's a very strong card. And uh, one other card that is kind of kind of carrying the deck without you kind of knowing it, it's kind of in the background, is Mark of the Isles. Mark of the Isles has been like winning me over a lot. This is because usually the issue with Mark of the Isles is it gives uh, an ally ephemeral and plus three plus three, right? Well, the issue is, is you don't necessarily want to lose your cards as an aggro deck that's kind of inefficient, but... If you're summoning a lot of random, like, ephemeral units, Mark of the Isles is very good. Also, since Hecarim has Overwhelm, you can surprise your opponent with Mark of the Isles. Also, you can use Mark of the Isles on Zed to kill pesky targets like Braum, stuff like that. It's really good so far. Honorable mentions. Oh, Silent Shadow Seer. I believe this card has potential. I just don't have the cards for it. Iron Harbinger. Right now, I'm running triple scaled snappers in the deck. I would be running triple iron harbingers right now if it was not for me being restricted on wild cards. So I would be using iron harbingers in this spot. So I would definitely use it. All right, I think that just wraps it up for the deck profile. I, I've been surprised at this deck's performance because it's been trash 90% of the time with all the other variants I've tried. Even the Great White Shark variant that Swim had made. But the issue is I only have one Lucian. So maybe Lucian does indeed carry the Great White Shark uh, deck. I'll have to look at it again if I get two more Lucians. But that'll be a long time from now probably. Unless it, Lucian becomes super meta or something. But yeah, that's it for the deck profile. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Piltover and Ionia? Okay. We're playing Hecarim Aggro here. Uh, we're going to be attacking on the odd, so Hecarim doesn't look very good here. It's going to be Piltover and uh, Ionia, so there's going to be a lot of spells to counter. So we're going to actually keep the Deny in our hand. Keep the Green Glade duo. All right, good hand so far. Ooh, Zed, beautiful. We're gonna be attacking on odd, so Zed is like the most important thing to be having if we're gonna be attacking on odd. Probably play the Soul Shepherd as I don't want my thing to just get killed instantly. Uh, he might use the three mana spell to kill this, but that'd be a waste of mana to be honest. All right, he is. All right, I'm completely fine with that. All right. Let's see if he has an answer for Zed as well. Yep. Pledge We're gonna move up with Zed shadows. here. He has another spell. All right, just getting him out of his hand, I guess. There you go. Yep. The order. All right, that's two spells out of however many they have. All right, that's another Soul Shepherd. That looks beautiful. Without a sound. He's gonna have a Zed. That's completely fine. We're gonna play Soul Shepherd. Yep. He's gonna obviously grab this. He's not. Okay. Uh. You might have to actually tank this one. All right. So far, opponent is winning. Play the Green Glade duo. Everything's better with company. Says you. We do have Hecarim for the next time we attack, so we're gonna play Shadow Assassin. An app gonna play his own. My life for the order. It's not looking good for us here. Play the shark, I guess. Oh, he's gonna kill the four one. That's completely fine. You cannot escape. I'm gonna 
play another mystic shot. Master to shadow. All right. Is our opponent going to do anything else? Nope. All right. They follow the wrong master. We are going to tank this sadly, but My there's nothing we can do about it. We are going to attack with Hecker in next turn, so... Yep. I believe it'd be better if we played him now so that we can attack instantly without him playing anything. There's not many spells that Ioni and Piltover have to deal with 6 health here, so... Suit academic, right. academic, pass... Opponent thinking really hard here. We do have Mark of the Isles as well. We're gonna play the Shark Chariot here, do we? Yeah, we do, because we have denies to cover our ass. We're fine. Yeah, because we have the denies to cover our ass, so if he just starts trying to fling spells, we're fine. I'm just gonna summon another shark and then the two riders. You have Mark of the Isles, so if he tries to block with something... He, do, he might have his own deny as well. Then we're gonna deny that. Okay. Then he's gonna deny that. And then we're gonna deny that. Does he have anything else? He does not, so our triple deny order happened. Blue. And then we're going to attack. This is 10, 13, 16 damage in total. Alright, he is going to block with the 1-1. One, one. We do have Haunted Relic for next turn Nothing for defense if he just simply decides to... We do kill now that. And, oh, place. Okay. All right. So let's say you're gonna take the four I and mean, two more anyway. So there's no point blocking Hecarim. We are exhausting our opponent out of resources, which is my plan. Very hard turn for our opponent here. Hecarim's kind of a beast. We're gonna do ten damage in total if he does not block this. All right. We can do 8 damage next turn. Alright. We do need to survive next turn. You draw this for the uh, not deny me. Shadow Riders here. Is he going to attack with this? Really? He's not. Uh, he might have direct damage. He could easily have the direct damage spell. So we're completely fine with taking the damage because we have the second Hecarim in hand. He could have the damage in his hand. That's the issue. That's completely fine because we have the second Hecarim. Thank God we do that second Hecarim. I'm going to play the second Hecarim. Not really much he can do here. Do you have... Mark of the Isles to give Hecarim a buff if he decides to try to chump block it. Alright. We're just gonna attack for game, I believe. Give him no time to react. This does give him the, all of them the plus attack, so I believe he's dead. Restraint. Anything else? I'm not gonna play something till you play something, bud. Uh, and that is the end of our opponent's life. Hecarim coming in to save the day. That was Hecarim Aggro, Ionia, uh, the Isles. Are we gonna rank up here? I believe we are. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, no. I've been testing a lot, so my ranking has not been increasing, but with this deck, I might be able to get up there. Um, 
shooting for plat before the reset, hopefully. But yeah, the only thing I'm missing in this deck is the third Zed, and we'll be fine. But yeah, that was Hector Magro. See you guys in the next episode.